Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, episode 23. Alright, so officially... I've noticed there is a problem with the next event I suggested I was going to do, and well... That problem is, if I just go over here... ...as well... This event has bad payouts. Because I literally win a grand if I can win a race in this fucking championship. And officially, it's only from first to third that I actually receive the credits. So I've decided I'm not going to do the Altezza race next because, well, that would just be stupid. So I'm instead going to do this. Audi TT race, and where this is the only car we can use, the Audi TT 1.8T Quattro, and officially, it's now time for us to head up to the car dealership, and as of which, officially, there's only one car we can use, and well, obviously, it's the Audi TT, so, once again, we are going to the fucking dealership. But also furthermore, this thing is expensive, because it's literally more than 46,000 credits, I don't, and I only have 51, so this is literally going to put me back in poverty. And well, most of these colours I've already raced in, also pretty certain I've raced in white as well. Even though I think that's meant to be grey, but whatever. So, I think I'm going to use a colour I haven't driven in yet, and that's red, so let's do that. And just because I want to guarantee my efforts this time, I'm going to do an oil change. Just to give me a little bit more horsepower, and officially, now is the time for us to do this event. So, five race championship, as we get with most of the championships in this game. Five grand for winning, obviously you need to finish third or higher if we're going to win some money. And circuits we are going to are Rome, Laguna Seca, Trina Mountain, Route 11, and Monte Carlo for the finale. Let's do this. And we shall see how we go. And officially, I now have an additional 11 horsepower. So, let's see how we go for race 1. And I've also turned the as well, because obviously I don't need him. So, let's go! Shifting up into third gear because apparently it might be on my previous attempt at recording this. I officially discovered that third gear was probably the best gear to start from. And already I am up into the second position and just made a dive bomb for the lead. And more or less the same field that we had in the previous row in the previous attempt at me recording this. And I downshifted too early. And well, just because my stubbornness told me that I had to see if I could try and make this championship a coin sweep. That's basically what it is I'm going to try and do. Even though I probably won't, because these AI will never race me clean, ever. If they are competent around a racetrack, that's one thing I've noticed they will probably never do, race me clean. 
as of which I'm already leading this event by one and a half seconds. And I think my entry was a little too wide there, but obviously I'm not attacking the course so there really isn't any point in me trying to push hard at this point even though obviously I'm still going to be pushing but one thing I have noticed of course is that well the first two races are pretty easy to win in my honest opinion third race I think that probably is a little bit more of a challenge and route 11 that's definitely going to be a challenge to win and well Monte Carlo judging by how these AI are not super consistent around Monaco I'm pretty certain they can probably win that as well hopefully but officially I'm now just focusing on this race. As I expected myself to do, I am not paying attention. So, I am now just under 1.6 seconds clear of the blue Audi and officially it looks like this will more or less be a possible clean sweep as long as his AI do not fucking botch me. Considering obviously this time I had to give myself an oil change before I started this. You know, just for a moment this power. But officially I have won race one by 1.5 seconds over red. Sorry, over blue. So green was third. Third, grey was fourth, then it was black and fifth, and then at the back was silver. So, officially, if I can manage to do everything properly this time, and these AI do not botch me into the fucking walls at Route 11, then maybe I might be able to make this championship a clean sweep because my stubbornness is telling me that I need to do the clean sweep for money because obviously that's important also furthermore it is quite a deficit from first to second because I literally only get a grand if I finish in second but whatever the risks I'm willing to take I'm always going to do them for the money. So into third gear once again, just so I can get minimal wheel spin. And as of which, because I've noticed this car's gearing ratios are quite short, obviously I'm pretty certain that if I can manage to do everything properly then I might be able to make this a clean sweep. Potentially. If I manage to do everything properly. But we'll just wait and see. Anyways. I'm now eight tenths behind the leader. Slotting down the inside. And not going to push too hard up to this point because I'm pretty certain I will probably make this an easy clean sweep as long as 
is AI don't fuck me on track. Considering obviously Ritter is a circuit where the AI are actually competent and can keep up with the player. At the end of lap one, and officially, this is more or less going to be another easy victory, like the first race was. Officially, it is looking like I will probably be on course for two out of two. These AI are not being particularly aggressive to the screen compared to me because at the time of when I entered that section I was 3 seconds clear but I'm pretty certain they're closing again because they're bound to do because I can guarantee to you 3 seconds will not be the finishing margin There we go, that was race 2 I won it by just under 2.8 seconds. Over blue, green was third, then it was black in fourth, followed by silver in fifth, and then at the back was grey. So another 10 points to me, 6 points to blue, 4 points to green, 3 to black, 2 to silver, and one, sorry, yeah, and one point to grey. As of which, silver is still at the back, and everything with the top three at the moment is pretty much even Stevens. So another five grand for winning, and officially, it is now time for race number three. Also furthermore, at the time of recording this, it is a very hot day because, well, I'm recording this on a Monday in June. So basically, if I can win this race, then pretty much no matter what happens, as long as I finish second in the fourth race, Obviously, I will pretty much be guaranteed for the championship. Well, theoretically, I'll be guaranteed. <coughs> theoretically, I'll be guaranteed for the championship. And officially, that was my stomach. That being it was a really good career again. Either that, or it was probably when I chugged down water. And I think the main reason on why I didn't display my delta time in the first sector was probably because I was literally in a dead heat with green just trying to get through that one section regardless of how much Liberace there probably was but officially I'm now up into the lead by half a second as we now head through the tunnel and through the trees we go. And K 
keeping it tight on the inside, but obviously these AI are not challenging me at the moment, so I have no problems over everything that is looking possible to digress. Anyways... I am leading this thing. As we now move on to the second lap, and officially it is more or less going to be 3 out of 3. Officially, I'm now pretty much one and three quarter seconds clear of blue up to this point, so this will more or less look like a possible three out of five in this championship. Okay, this thing does have six gears. I have no idea why I shifted up into sixth there. I guess it was just because I was checking the gears, but anyways. So this thing is officially a six speed. But obviously, that doesn't matter because I am pretty much leading this thing with relative ease, and this, as I would expect, be a potential clean sweep if I can manage to do everything properly. Considering obviously it will probably make it a little bit easier since I did the oil change. So hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. But anyways, it is three out of three wins for red. Blue finishes in third once again, then it is green in third, followed by silver in fourth, grey is fifth, and then at the back is black. He is back in black. To quoting ACDC. So it's pretty much going to look like a potential clean sweep for me if I can just manage to keep my nose clean at Route 11, because all I really need to do is finish in second or higher, and then strategically I have the championship, and also, holy shit, we have a tie for fourth. Did not see that one coming. But anyways, let's now save this replay. because that is important, so I can get my clickbait. Anyways, penultimate race of the Beginner Tourist Trophy, and it takes place at Route 11. Let's try and see if we can win it this time. Hopefully, it will not be my incompetence that gets the best of with me. Considering it probably will be, knowing how easy this championship has been so far. Although, oddly enough, at Route 11, the AI are actually incompetent around the circuit and they can definitely keep up with the player here. So. Not making the same mistake of planting the wall like I did last time. And these AI are definitely being aggressive on one another, as I expected them to do. Silver is up there in the second position at the moment, and what I need to do is find a move that might actually work. 
But anyways, I'm up into second position now. And I am being hopeful to say this will be a potential move for the lead. Because obviously, I'm basically trying to redeem myself and say that I can win this race. As which, that is exactly what I do. So even on a track where the AI are actually aggressive, somehow I do have the more powerful car. But again, this race will probably end up being closer than the other three have been, because I'm pretty certain this will probably be more of a challenge. And that's all. Anyways, I am leading at Route 11 this time, and officially I'm hoping it will stay this way. So, I am officially ahead of this AI this time, and hopefully as long as I don't do any major fuck-ups at this point, and I can just stay on the defense, then hopefully this will be a clean sweep. So, on my previous attempt, everything went okay, but obviously... It was this one race that essentially deluded me as well. Since I'm running on a minimum budget, I'm wanting to prove to you that I can make this a clean sweep. Because, compared to all the other championships in this game so far... This one has been relatively easy for me. So, if I can basically win this final race, then obviously, I've pretty much got everything in the bag, hopefully. But obviously, these AI are definitely keeping up with me, because they aren't fucking around like they have been doing in the previous three races. They're actually keeping up with me, which means I cannot afford to cock this. As of which, in the words of actor Ralph Fiennes, don't copy that. Who is the name of probably one of many great actors in the 21st century that are from England? But anyways, before I go off topic, obviously, I will need to concentrate on these final corners and see if I can possibly, you know, fucking sweep this thing. With my eyes shut. Although, not necessarily shut, because obviously that is a challenge I would probably never win. Yeah, just ignore what I said. I'm just going to try and win this race, basically. As of which I am now just 1.1 seconds clear of the Blue TT, and if I can get this final chicane right, I should be able to make this championship a clean sweep. Hopefully. And... There we go. Officially, with victory number four, I am going to be the theoretical champion of the Audi TT race. Beginner. Up by just under one and a quarter seconds ahead of blue, then it was silver in third, grey finished in fourth, then it was green in fifth, and then at the back was black. So another 10 points to me, and another 6 points to blue, which probably means it is going to be a clean sweep of points for me and blue. Green will still hold on to third, silver is fourth, grey is fifth, and then black is in last. 
So, it's still pretty competitive up to this point, but obviously, first and second in this championship are already decided. But anyways... Let's now move on to the fifth and final race of the Audi TT race, which takes place in Monte Carlo. As of which we are once again doing three laps around Monaco, like we did in the Beetle Cup, and hopefully if it is possible for me to do something similar to the Beetle Cup, then hopefully I should be able to make this championship a clean sweep. Even though I am keeping my fingers crossed, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Also, I didn't know this time, so. so, shifting up into third once again, so obviously I don't get as many problems regarding wheel spin. Since that probably is the best gear for me to shift up to off the line, just to get minimum wheel spin. And Gwyn at the moment has definitely fallen back on the start, as of which I am already pretty much fighting with the top four. And, oh, yep, Green was definitely very aggressive there on me, as well as Grey and Silver. He just literally sent it going into the Hotel de Paris. And already he is now up into the second position. As we now head through Lowe's Hairpin, as which it is still very difficult to overtake around Monaco, and also very easy to make a mistake. But obviously, Up into the lead, and that's pretty much all that matters at this point. And hopefully, this will be where I make it potentially 5 out of 5. And, oh! Jesus Christ! His AI are still being super aggressive because of how strong rubber banding is in the beginner league. Same can also be said in the amateur league, but you know. That's by the by. Anyways, heading through the swimming pool section. And well, oddly enough, even though this thing says it's a four-wheel drive, the truth is, at the moment it's basically handling like it's front-wheel drive. I don't know why, but it feels kind of like a front-wheel drive rather than four-wheel drive, judging by the wheel spin that I get off the line. Even though it does say this thing is four-wheel drive, but, you know... I guess I'm just getting confused. And heading up the hill now... Heading past the Sun of Irritation... Because that is probably the only word I can truly use to describe where the sun is through most of these corners. Because it is shining very bright through most of these corners. Anyways, now heading down the hill past the Casino Square for the second time. Once again, heading down to Lowe's Hairpin, keeping it in third gear so I don't get any wheel spin. Through the portier we go, and officially through the tunnel once again. And officially now heading down through the chicane once again, and heading down the back stretch through to back. Is the end of this corner, and now heading through the swimming pool section once again. And obviously, this version of Monaco is definitely better than the real life version because, at the very least, you can actually make opportunities to overtake. Or 
whatever the hell it is that Polyphony did to extend the width of this circuit. Anyways, heading through La Rascas and officially onto the third and final lap here in Monaco. As of which I do not remember the names of most of these corners. But anyways, heading through the Hotel de Paris now, and heading down the hill into Casino Square, as of which I'm pretty sure that's where the casino is. Now heading into Mirabeau. Right before Lowe's Hairpin, previously known as the, sta as the Station Hairpin before they renamed it. And heading into Portier. And keeping it all nice and tight through these corners. And heading through the tunnel now for the third and final time here in Monaco. And heading down towards the harbour once again. I think I actually got a reasonable exit there out of the chicane. I should probably not look in my rear view. Anyways, through the swimming pool section now for the third and final time here in Monaco. Just trying to keep it all clean up to this point as I now avoid once again the irritation sun as I head through the Raskas and through the corners we go and officially it is going to be a clean sweep in the beginner tourist trophy by 2.2 seconds. So then it was silver in third, followed by grey in fourth, black was fifth and then at the back surprisingly was green after he was making his moves towards the front before he got shuffled to the back. But anyways, it is a clean sweep in the beginner Taurus trophy to see how easy it is for a professional gamer to achieve. So won it by 20 points in the end and officially for both me and Blue it is a clean sweep of points because we both finished First and second in every race, green was third with 15 points, then it was silver in fourth with 14 points, followed by grey in fifth with 12 points, and then at the back was black with 9 points. And just to be sure, yep, I do have a replay saved, and officially, let's now go get our prize money. That is something we get in this game. Anyways. Yeah, we are the champions once again. And whatever. And what car are we going to win? Pretty much another Audi TT. And... Oh, okay. We get one in green. But obviously... This one is a dud because, well, coincidentally I have no usage for it, but there we are. It is a clean sweep in the Beginner League Tourist Trophy, as of which I believe that is only the second time I have officially achieved a clean sweep. But anyways, next time we will be doing the Altazza race. And then after this we will have just one more B license event to go in the beginner league and then after that we will have two more events left to do. So my win ratio was not picked up but we are now officially pretty much a fifth of this game complete. And officially as for my prize car well 
I do like the green, but obviously... Unfortunately, because I don't have any usage for it, I think I'm just gonna sell it. And I almost got all of my money back. But officially, because I already have this car, that's the main reason why I sold it. Also because furthermore, this thing does look better in red than it does in green. Also because I'll have some further usage for it, but anyways. That was the beginner tourist trophy, and next time we shall be doing the beginner Alteza race. Stay tuned for more of Gran Turismo 3.